stops and next thing you know you yeah. have boulders coming down that happens on highway 50 quite often as well mm. uh, whenever you're going up to the sierra of course you know you always have to be safe and just in case you're wondering no major storm systems on play over the course of the weekend so you can get up there safely uh, weather wise everything else is up to you <laughs> okay now let's take a look at your forecast today's going to be a nice day and i have been talking about this day for much of the week because this is the sole day where you have sunshine all morning all afternoon, all the way into the evening. So if you're satelliting your radar, I think this pretty much sums it up. You got clear skies from Nevada to Washington to Idaho, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, all the way into California. But not for long. Here's what's happening. Got a cold front on the approach. That's going to be slowly trekking in our direction. So you're going to notice clouds starting to pick up tonight and during the morning on Saturday. Eventually, this system will give way to a chance of showers. So let's time it out. Here's your future cast. There go the clouds. And here's a chance of showers coming in tomorrow morning. They'll be relatively short lived. They're not expected to be downpours. They'll move through in the early morning hours. And then by early afternoon, they're out of here. So this is not a major player. A second system does come in, though. This one comes in right on its heels. This is Sunday evening. This one is a little more pronounced. So you got a better chance for steady rainfall, a better chance for some snow showers coming in. And then that system still kind of lingering into the forecast. This is 3 o'clock in the morning. You still got showers in parts of the northern San Joaquin Valley, and you still got snow showers in play. So that's a bigger system as opposed to the first one. And then another one comes in on Tuesday, which is slated to be the biggest. Take a look at your weekend forecast. So for Saturday, 20% chance of a few isolated showers on Sunday, a better chance of scattered showers. Afternoon highs in the lower 60s over the course of the valley. But hill locations, you also have a chance of showers over the weekend. But the, it's not going to be a washout. Saturday, you may have a scattered shower. Sunday, a better chance of late day showers. Afternoon highs still coming in the lower to the mid 50s. And for the Sierra, go for it. If you want, think about driving up there. You got wonderful weather today and tomorrow. You'll have a chance of snow showers on Sunday. So if just in case you're thinking about getting down the mountain safely. As long as you're leaving on Sunday morning, you're fine. Snow showers will move in Sunday afternoon to early Sunday evening. And of course, that always slows things down a bit. San Francisco Saturday uh, AM showers in the forecast, 40% likelihood. Sunday, 70% chance of rain showers in the forecast. Afternoon highs in San Francisco around 60 degrees. So how much snowfall could we pick up when it's all said and done? We have these different weather systems impulses coming through. They'll add up about six to 12 inches coming in above 4,000 feet in elevation. And when you start talking about rainfall, really more of a story for the higher elevations. Anywhere up to a half of an inch to one inch of rainfall. You get to the valley floor, mm, not as generous. Anywhere from a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rainfall. Also, don't forget Sunday morning, you are springing forward one hour. Uh, your new sunrise, 723 on Sunday morning. Your new sunset at 708. And warmer conditions are in the forecast as we move into next week. How warm? Take a look. Oh yeah, temperatures are warming up as early as next Thursday, lower 70s to the mid 70s in the forecast as we head into the beginning of the upcoming week. Yeah, all in all though, weather looks pretty nice. Just keep in mind, you could have a few occasional showers over the course of the weekend. Stick around.